Now at five, we're still uncovering more fallout from the state house shakeup. We've been on top of each new development since the Target 12 investigators broke Ray Gallison's resignation on Monday. And that includes questions about nonprofit organizations linked to Gallison that have received grants using your tax dollars. Iowa News News reporter Steve Nielsen has learned there was a lot of debate at the State House about one of those grants. He joins us now live with the new details. Well, guys, last night on Eyewitness News at 10 and 11, we focused on the most recent taxpayer-funded grant that was awarded to Man Up. Today, though, we zeroed in on a second grant awarded just a few months before, and documents reveal there was a lot of discussion on whether or not Man Up even deserved the money. Eyewitness News coming through documents uncovering this from June 2015. The minutes from a Governor Workforce Board meeting. They approved an approximately $90,000 grant to Man Up. We've reported on the group because of its extensive ties to former state rep Ray Gallison, who stunningly resigned from office Tuesday. A complex paper trail Target 12 exposed reveals Gallison's controversial nonprofit Alternative Educational Programming receives at least some funds from Man Up. The minutes from the June meeting revealed Man Up didn't even qualify for funding, but board members debated what it would take to give them funding regardless. According to the minutes, Richard Brooks, who recently left the DLT for a new state job, indicated he spoke to Man Up before the meeting. Why and with who is not explained, but a DLT spokesman confirmed to Target 12 that the agency's director discussed Man Up with Gallison at two meetings last year, one of which took place in Gallison's state house office. George Nee, the president of the AFL-CIO, suggested mentoring Man Up if they receive funds. He didn't return calls. The executive director of the Center for Southeast Asians, Shanavi Shea, was a voice of caution. She stressed the importance of following policy and procedures when awarding grants. However, the board would go on to unanimously approve giving Man Up $90,000. And the DLT says around $68,000 has already been given to Man Up. They don't know how much, if any, though, has already been transferred to Gallison's original group, AEP. They have stopped all payments for now, though, and they're auditing to see where the money went. Man Up says they can't comment until that audit is complete. I'm Steve Nielsen, Eyewitness News.